heading back from the buffet. Sal and I went separately. I went first and he's gonna go now. And we just didn't wanna leave the cats alone. So, it was good. <laughs> wow, the food's so good here. It's just as good as it was before, if not even better. So I'm glad we came here. I look forward to having it again tomorrow. Yeah, that was a really good buffet. I really enjoyed it. And now I'm going back to get some rest. Long day. It seems like it was a long day. Even though we didn't travel as many miles as we did a couple days before that. We traveled like 300 miles a couple days ago. And today we just traveled, I think it was about 180 miles. So, all right, there's the RV. Time to go back in. See more you're investigating? Hmm? You nosy? That's why I call him Snoop or that Snoop. Are you Snoop or that Snoop? See more Snoop or that Snoop. going to the buffet and I don't know if Sal's going today or not it kind of stinks to have to go separately but that's just what we're choosing to do it right here at this place we're choosing not to leave the cats here by themselves so off I go to the buffet
Somebody was asking what the attachment was for in our last video, so I wanted to show it and what it's for. The attachment for the desk. See, here's the attachment here. Sal was handing it to me a few times in the last video, and so it goes in here. There's two little holes here, and then it, it helps keep the laptop from falling off. Okay. Put the laptop here and that way it has that it's a stopper to stop it from falling off since some people asked about the lap desk i thought i would do a little bit extra footage on it to just show people a little more about how it works i showed how the the little this thing worked it's a little loose it could be a little tighter but it's okay and see with a lap laptop on it that holds it in place and then the legs are adjustable. You can make them higher or lower. I usually leave them at that height. There's an adjustment here. So the legs can actually go quite quite a bit higher. The desk can go quite a bit higher if you want it that way. Oh, Seymour's coming to visit. Hello, Seymour. There's how high it can go. See, it can go actually pretty high. The only thing I don't like about it is sometimes these legs slip a little. That this, this little, oh, see everything just fell. That doesn't usually happen though. Um, this latch here, Sal had tightened it for me, but it, it, it got loose again. Another thing you can do with it is you can actually tip the laptop. I'll show you. There's a this thing here and you you put it down and you can put it at different heights with that little thing there and see now the laptop is tipped I don't really use it that way I have a couple of times when I was doing a lot of typing and my uh, the angle was um, erasing my text a lot but generally I just use it Generally, I just use it flat down. So overall, I like this desk. It was pretty expensive. I think it was at least $40, if not $50. But I wanted to get something that wasn't toxic. I think it said it wasn't toxic. That's like a big deal for me. I think it's Bamboo Nuvante. That's the name of it. But overall, I'm happy with it. I just don't like that it's kind of loose sometimes it falls out when we're putting it away at night and I don't like that this thing I don't like that this thing is really loose it's just not right for some reason this one doesn't do that see how hard this one is harder to open which is how it should be but this one is just it opens too easily and it opens sometimes when it's not supposed to but other than that, I love it. I just wish if that thing could be fixed to work properly and not open up, I would love it. Even this thing isn't a big deal that it comes out. We can fix that. We can probably put something around and get it to stick in there better. But hopefully we can fix that. But my thought is if you spend 40 or $50 on something, it should be good. <laughs> so, but I do like it a lot. So, okay. Well, thank you, and uh, we'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.